Welcome guys, so uh, I'm having a second shot at Murders at Karlov Manor sealed. Uh, jump straight into it. First attempt I went 0-3 and I realised at the end, oh, I only put 12 lands in the deck, <laughs> so that was a bit of a bit of a boo-boo. Um, just made a bit of a bit of an oversight when I was uh, tweaking the deck. Right, so we have res. We I've already seen forensic gadgeteer, so this goes in an artifact deck. Every time you cast an artifact spell, you get a clue token. So that's uh, pretty good, and also activated abilities of artifacts cost one less, so your clues cost only one mana. So that seems that seemed good last time. Um, we have Aurelia's Vindicator, an angel, flying lifelink, wood two. Four two. I like that. That seems good. It's a disguise card. Disguise cost is X, three, and white. And already is vindicators vindicators turn face up. Exile up to X other target creatures from the battlefield and all creature cards from graveyards. When Aurelia's Vindicator leaves the battlefield, return the exiled cards to their owner's hands. Wow. That is seems like a spectacularly powerful removal spell. So, you could pay nine mana and exile five creatures. Exile your, your opponent's entire board. Let's say if, it's, if, you, if they've got five creatures. Um, and then he's got to pay ward two to kill this, to get his creatures back. Then they only actually only go back to his hand as well. So it's a really huge tempo swing as well. That he's going to have to pay all that mana again to recast those things. That's um, this, it seems to be a mythic. Uh, it, th it, I want to play this. This seems good. Well, I, li I like the fact I've got two blue rares and a blue white rare. So maybe blue white is the way to go. Let's look at actually if we'll jump around. We'll look at officious interrogation. Instant blue and white. It costs blue white more to cast for each target beyond the first. Okay, so it's flexible. Choose any number of pl target players. Investigate X times where X is the total number of creatures those players control. I'm just passing. Wow. <laughs> Why I can so I can target my opponent as well. And then it costs four mana. We count the total number of creatures and I get to investigate that many times. So I mean it's a card draw spell, you get well it it's also a an artifact generation spell. It makes a large number of artifacts and you can just pop all of those later and draw a bunch of cards. So very a very big potentially very big card draw spell. Seems really good, honestly. Uh, alongside Forensic Gadgeteer, that's only um, obviously if I cast an artifact spell, I, I get an uh, investigate, but at least that's making my clues cheaper to pop. We have Intrude on the Mind. Okay, that's a blue mythic. Instant. Reveal the top five cards of your library and separate them into two piles. An opponent chooses one of those piles. Okay, it's one of these cards. Put that pile into your hand and the other into your graveyard. So it's probably going to be three and two. It says separate them into two piles. Uh, it doesn't say anything about th them being face 
up or face down. I assume they're going to be face down. So your opponent's going to be giving you the three or the two usually. And your opponent chooses the one that goes into your hand. The rest go into the graveyard. Okay, create a zero zero colorless stop to artifact creature token with flying, then put a plus one plus one counter on it. For each card put into your graveyard this way. Ah, okay, that's interesting. You could go zero and five and you get a five five flyer. If um or you get to draw five cards. So that, that seems pretty good. So and you're choosing, yeah, yeah, you're looking at the top five. So that's another nice card draw spell. It's also instant speed. It's also maybe making a flyer. It's going to be at least a 2-2 flyer. That's the smallest flyer you could get. And uh, you'd get, in that case, three cards. So, yeah. Um, and instant, instant speed is quite good as well. So, yeah, not bad. Quite expensive, though. Five mana is quite expensive. Um, so blue-white looks good. We might have... Uh, maybe red-black is good, because we've got three things. We've got Judith there. I'll, ch I'll just sort of have a look at the green card here. Axbane Ferox. It's a 4-4. Four, four. Death Touch, Haste, Ward, Collect Evidence, 4. To collect evidence for XL cards with total mana value 4 or greater from your graveyard. So your opponent's got to use their graveyard to actually target this thing. So 4-4 four, four, haste death touch. Not bad. 4-4 four, four for 4. Pretty aggressive. Hard to target as well. Uh, actually, I want to look at Judith first. So... 3, 4, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, choose one. That spell gains death touch and life link. Okay. So you want uh, burn spells, basically, with Judith. Uh, you can get a 2-2 two, two red imp creature token with, when this creature dies, it deals 2 damage to each opponent. Okay, not to any target, but to, to the opponent. Yeah, pretty cool. But uh, I find it's difficult to have a lot of worthwhile instants and sorceries in, in Limited. You just, it's because it's more about creatures, typically. Otherwise, she's a 3 4 for 5. Uh, Lamplight Phoenix. 3 3 flying for 3. That's, that's good. When it dies, you may exile it and collect evidence for. If you do, return Lamplight Phoenix to, your, to the battlefield tapped. Okay. Cool. That's going to be pretty hard to kill. So you can only, but you can only do that w up, up at the point of death. If you've got nothing in your graveyard left, it's gone. We have Krenko's Buzz Crusher. 4-4 four, four Flying Trample for 4 mana. So that's pretty good. When it enters the battlefield for each player, destroy up to one non-basic land that player controls. For each land destroyed this way. Uh, its controller may search their library for a basic land card. Shuffle it and put it onto the battlefield. Tap for the shuffle. Um... So yeah, for each player. So I c you can target yourself is the point there as well. Want to improve on a non-basic land with a basic land. Uh, not that you don't. I think four four flying trample is very good anyway. So the ability doesn't matter too much. I think definitely the Aurelius Vindicator is the big winner here though I think that's better than the red flyers uh, 
Uh, blue white looks uh, definitely looks tempting based on those rares. Okay, I'm going to go through color by color, and um, I'm using the bread strategy. So it's bombs, removal, evasion, aggro, and dross. So I'm, and I'm it's just the first three I'm going to pick to start with. So uh, bombs, removal, and evasion. We've got forum familiar here. One one. It's a cat who can disguise itself. When it's turned face up, return another permanent you control to its owner's hand and, and put a plus one plus one counter on forum familiar. Okay, so when it's turned face up, it can be a two two and, and bounce, some, bounce something. So sometimes it's useful to bounce your own permanence. It's very condi sort of the, the usefulness is going to just depend if there's come into play effects and st things like that. Auspicious arrival. Plus two, plus two, and you investigate. So, the uh, a lot of the combat tricks in this set are getting card advantage, getting the invest uh, clue tokens. So, makes them a bit more playable. Call a surprise witness. So, so uh, creature card with three value or less from the graveyard, and it gets flying, and it becomes a spirit. So that's pretty cool. I think because that adds a flying counter, we'll call that an evasion card. Um, I think I like that actually quite a lot. So I'm going to, uh, I think I might consider that one. Case of the Gateway Express. Okay, each creature you control deals one damage to target creature. Just for two mana. To solve three or more creatures attack this turn, solved creatures you control get plus one zero. I just want plus one power. Um, it's a removal, so we like that. Perimeter enforcer, flying lifelink. One one. Whenever another detective enters the battlefield under your control, and whenever a detective you control is turned face up. This guy gets plus one, plus one to land a turn. So, yeah, sometimes it'll be a 2-2 two, two lifelink. Um, I, yeah, I'm, I think I have to do an, a search for detect or detective um, just to see if I have enough detectives. Well, if we're playing blue-white, we have actually loads of detectives. Blue is hooching with detectives so I think that's definitely playable flying and lifelink can be a bit of a can get a bit of a life swing from that one so we might be uh, blue white detectives Okay, inside source. Oh wow, yeah, this guy, this citizen makes, just makes a detective creature token. And this triggers off, yeah, detective entering the battlefield under your control. Great, that's good. Yeah, we definitely want inside source. And this can pump a detective by plus two. Fat fantastic on the enforcer so pump up my flying life linker that's going to be great makeshift binding is removal that's fantastic make your move to destroy artifact enchantment or creature with power four or greater yes i think that's reasonable removal people tend to have big creatures so that's in, in limited so that's good and of course aurelia's vindicator is absolutely insane uh, on the job is another combat trick. Pumps the whole team. I think we skip it. We might, we'll come back to the uh, uh, combat tricks if we think we need them. Uh, I'm thinking about Forum Familiar and I get a bit more. And it might be quite useful for bouncing 
detectives back to my hand so I can replay them and get another trigger. Um, like on Inside Source, for example, making another 2 2 detective token and to um, pump up Perimeter Enforcer again. So let's consider Forum Familiar. Let's, that could work. Um, Faith Light. I, play, I played this last time, it gives things hexproof and instant speed, so it can protect your important creatures. For example, Aurelius Vindicator is a very, very important creature to protect. Uh, it gives This also gives happens to give flying. We don't, we have a, already have a lot of flying creatures, but I think we want this for the protection value in particular. Jaded Analyst is a detective, so we're definitely playing detectives. Uh, so we're just going to pick up every detective now. Uh, so, for example, Gadgeteer is a detective, Forensic Researcher is a detective. Does a bit of um, crowd control. Projector Inspector, this is the one where you can draw and discard whenever you get a detective. So that's quite handy for going through your deck. Cold case cracker. It's a, th oh, three, three flying for four and you get card advantage when it dies. So that seems good. Definitely good. Intrude on the mind we've established is fantastic. There's a living conundrum here. I did play this in the last game. It wasn't, I didn't, I <laughs> it didn't do anything. Um, it's a nice idea. So basically, if you can go go through your entire deck, this thing stops you from losing, and it becomes a 10-10 flying vigilance creature. So I think it's pretty cool. I might can see if I can leave it out this time, though, as we unless you we are drawing quite a few cards, but it's, I don't know. It, may, it might be good. Hotshot investigators are detectives. That costs six mana. Uh, we bounce a creature to its owner's hand. And if I control that creature, I investigate. It's, uh, they're very, very expensive. Six mana. I don't know if we can get away with playing all three of these. But they, we are playing a detective deck. So maybe, maybe you do play all three. Um... So, I kind of, I've skipped past the other colors. I'm pretty focused on blue or white. We could look at the other colors. I think um, because I've got the artifact dude, the gadgeteer, we look at artifacts and see if we can fill out the deck with those. Magnifying glass is a basically a tome, I think, and it's also... Adding mana, I think that's playable. Gravestone Strider. Oh, it does mana fixing. Yeah. I think maybe it's not a two drop. We don't get have I don't think we have many two drops. Yeah, we're a bit short. Okay, lumbering laundry. This is a golem. with disguise, which is cool. I don't know if we're going to play that, but I'll grab it for the moment. And these are just lands. Uh, so this can give you a bit of mana fixing. It's probably sensible to play all the mana fixing you can, just to increase your chances. Escape tunnel. Okay, you can get um, just a basic land, or you can make something unblockable. Very interesting. The branch of Vitugazi can uh, be a land as well. Uh, sorry, be a creature. <laughs> you can make it a 2 2 creature. So I think that's just good because it's an extra creature in the deck, which can also be a land. Just, yeah, basically just add all the land. And uh, there's our, oh, there's our 
blue white card we nearly missed out on. Hustle and bustle. So we have a 41 card deck. We don't, don't think we have very many artifacts. We've got three artifacts. Uh, so the Forensic Gadgeteer doesn't seem very good, but he's also a detective. We are playing a detective deck. It'd be nice if we could play more artifacts, to be honest. Uh, Living Conundrum, I don't think... We're not milling huge amounts of cards off our deck. Um, I think we... I don't know, we could... We either cut Lumbering Laundry or a Hotshot Investigator. But that means losing an artifact. Maybe we want this as an extra artifact. Just cut uh, an expensive detective. Uh, I think we. I'll do a quick run through the other colors and see how good they are. So black. Uh, it might do a count of just removal spells. Well, polygraph orb is quite interesting, but it's it's expensive. It's five mana. But it looks like I uh, wouldn't say there's that really any removal, out and out removal in black. There's toxin analysis, which is a good uh, combat trick. But yeah, not that impressive. You know about Judith, there's Rakish Scoundrel, yeah, Death Touch Elf. Have a look at red. See if there's loads. If there's loads of burn spells in red, that could convince us maybe to play it. It would have to be a lot of burn spells, though, really. Yeah, we've just got the uh, the two flying uh, rares in red, which are, are pretty good. We could potential. Well, we want. We definitely want to play Aurelius Vindicator because that's. Probably one of the most busted cards I've seen in this uh, set. Fender at large. Oh, whenever you sacrifice an artifact, it gets a plus one, plus one counter. Yeah, uh, that's that's good. I have two of those. Gadget technician is quite good. Meddling youths, <laughs> nice. Uh, hustle and bustle. Now you can give everything plus two, plus two, and trample with this. Pretty good, yeah. But yeah, unimpressive levels of removal. I've noticed not pretty much nothing in red either. Green, obviously, not really going to have any removal. Any interesting creatures? Plus one, plus one for each forest you control. That would be good in a mono green deck. Oops. I do yeah, I saw someone with this Topiary Panther. Very nice. Basic land cycling on this, two mana get any land. Uh really good. Yeah, that's a nice removal spell for four mana. And you also get extra mana from the uh, land. It's like um, ossification, basically, but with a bonus. Okay, I think uh, 
yeah, we're, I'm pretty satisfied. The other colors don't offer much. Um, and this, so this is this is a pretty good first pass. I think, I think that we might go for this, but um, I'll call that end of part one, and I'll have a bit of I think a bit of double check. I've actually got 17 lands this time because that was that was pretty bad last time. That was a bit a bit of an oversight. Uh, right. Uh, thanks for watching so far. Okay, back to uh, part two. Um, I've checked and double checked. I have 17 land this time in this deck. Uh, we have 15 creatures. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it, so we've left out the Living Conundrum this time. Hot shot in one of the hot shot investigators. We're not playing the combat tricks. Because bas basically combat tricks mean you're playing one less creature. I'd, I'd rather have more creatures, to be honest. Even even though they've got a very tempting investigate token now, but um, I feel it's not quite enough. I'm just going to put the right card on the front of the deck. There we go, that's the one. Well, we'll see if we can do maybe one better than yeah, uh, the other day and actually actually win a game. Okay, we have the branch of Vitugazi. How does this work again? So you can disguise it, turn face, turn it face up uh, for three mana and add two mana of any one color. Okay. Uh, now, what have we got here? We do have an inside source. Yeah, I've, I've noticed that uh, I don't seem to have very many good two drops. The first, the first two sealed decks just um, has been about one two drop creature per color. If that is a deliberate thing. So we can hold on to this this land here and, until uh, we're sure we need it. Looks it's starting to look like we will need it. So that's he's got his rare out, white uh the uh, Center District here, here I'm. so that's a really good 2 drop 2-3 two, for 2 it can become a 4-4, four, four. ok it does other things it becomes Mileva once you can collect evidence for and pay 3 and it gets 5-5 five, five. and gains other creatures you control have indestructible well, that's going to be a, a bit of a pain. I think it's fair to say. Okay, we have our own inside source. We have Forensic Researcher and a Gravestone Strider. Let's go for our own inside source. Are we attacking? Okay, we are attacking. Take it, leaving that back. Okay. Uh, actually, I've got, I've got a funny idea that I'm going to double block here just in case he makes a mistake and kills the one. one. <laughs> so we have a 3 3 flyer. Probably the best option. So the big threat is this becoming a 5 5 and making all the other creatures <laughs> indestructible. So, uh, okay, Dog Walker got turned face up and made 2 1 1 dogs, so he's got. It's got quite an army of five creatures here. I can get a lumbering laundry, which is a nice big chunky blocker. It does not stop a 5-5, five five, however. Of 
got shot investigators. We might hold on to that to bounce um, this after it, if it becomes Maleva. Might be a good idea. I could do a two drop and a three drop. I will go and swing in in the air. Okay, ramping out some land. It's got red in the deck as well. I didn't really think about what I could splash in the deck, but uh, it, well, it's de the lands definitely kind of enable that possibility. Right, I've got to tap an untapped artifact or land when this comes into play. I could tap my gravestone strider. It's not very nice though. <laughs> Um Is there any point to turning this face up later? No, I don't think so. I think um I'll go ahead and play it face up. May as well um swing in in the air. So he has three points of evidence. Okay, he's going to kill something. That's five damage to something. And it's going to be the lumbering laundry that, that eats it. Alright. Uh, he can attack with three creatures and pump all of his creatures. Okay, there's more removal then. So he's going to push through with... Um, everything. Three damage. I can untap another target permanent I control, by the way. Um, how about the cold case cracker? And he did not attack. Good news for me. Okay, I could call the surprise witness and get that back, and it would be a one. It would be a one-three flyer. Hot shot investigators. I might. Tell you what, I've got six mana. Um, swing in in the air like with that. Play another one of those. What is this? Add one mana of any color, right? Okay, yeah, that's a pretty good land, actually. Uh, fixing land. Just to be efficient, I may as well do everything I can. a Mileva. All the other creatures now have indestructible, which is very irritating. Uh, 
Uh, right, so... I think I want to block a dog. Um, I think I'll let through the dog walker. Right, these have got indestructible. Can we establish that? Why doesn't it say they have indestructible? It should say indestructible on all of his creatures, shouldn't it? Okay, I think we can just assume his other creatures have got indestructible. Um, I'm gonna... No, I won't block with that. I will take 7 damage. Yeah, I'll take 7 damage. I'll have a problem. Okay, Hotshot Investigators will bounce the 10th District Hero. I will attack for 7. Okay, I guess we block uh, the dog walker. Does the most damage. We'll block. Um, I think we'll block a dog. And we, yeah, we win. Okay, good. We got our first win. Clean sealed in uh, this set, so that's nice. And uh, yeah, as as often is the case, it came down to f having flyers. Who, who the person who had the flyers win, won the game. the evasion creatures. Okay, we actually have a couple of our two drops. In the opening hand, I'll, I'll keep this. I'm going uh, second so we can get that extra card. And it is an extra land, so that's good. Strider that just is able to block that and win. I'm thinking uh, actually go for the Jaded Analyst so I can maybe attack with a 3 2 if I want. As an option. Go ahead, sacrifice that. I bet he wants a another land drop. Public thoroughfare is a bit tricky to actually play. Uh, let's actually do a forensic researcher. No, I probably shouldn't have done that. Never mind. Oh yeah, it's whenever you draw your second card, it's not when you play a detective. I just ha I have that mixed up with the other detective card. So I won't attack. Never mind. He 
has a lot of cheap cards. That's very impressive. Oh, okay. It's a food token, food equipment that summons dogs. It's nice. Um, we're gonna play this tap a land. Yep. Play our inside source. Sort of waiting for a flyer, I suppose. Oh my god, that's so rare. Let's see each opponent. Okay, good. As long as you're not killing the creatures, I'm okay with it. So I'm expecting him to possibly have some kind of overrun. Finish the game. So we can get an incredible number of uh, detective tokens. Detective clue tokens, that's what you call them, with this. Or we can bounce something with the investigators. Are we scared of a five? Uh, five. Yeah, he's going to get an attack He's uh, with uh, potentially combat tricks. Um, involved. Okay. Okay, season consultant gets plus two power, that can get menace, very interesting, okay, just, I think I'll, I'll start my officious interrogation. Ten clue tokens. Oh yeah, that's good. Um, oh, what do we want to block with? Probably got combat tricks aplenty. Um, so, I mean, that's going to be a three-three attacker. Most of the time. Chuck these two at that one. Seems reasonable. How about the Jaded Analyst trading with that one? Even the detective trading with that one. Um, and have all three of these from trade here. And that's some eight toughness. So you can kill two of them. You may have combat tricks. We will see. Oh, I've, don't do that. Don't do that. We're not going to do that. Uh, we're going to do. Um, Maybe that kind of block on there. Uh, 
it's got menace. Okay, yeah, let's do something like that. taken out. I, have, I lose a couple as well. And that gets the, the haunch. I will pop that and get a card. So if I want to attack with this I've got to just pop a clue to draw an extra card. That's the ba basically the size of it get back my researcher and I'll become a flyer. Um, okay, right, yeah, let's try actually projector inspector. Discard something. I like these. I, I don't think we need Faith Light, so I'll discard it. Of course, we could have given him flying and attacked with him. Yeah, that might have been better. Uh, uh, let's actually attack with a Jaded Analyst now. There, that makes sense. Oh, investigate. Silly me. No, I forgot that. Right, I think I could bring something back. I think, yeah, Jaded Analyst comes back as a surprise witness. Uh, we can draw, discard. Yeah, we don't need that land. Good. Oh, this is two damage to something, so he kills my flyer. I could block with everything, take a bit of a risk, uh, or take five damage. I'm going to try blocking with everything and see what happens. There we trade off. Okay, we don't have anything of his we want to bounce actually. Uh, we'll play the cold case cracker. Do we want to bounce the pyrotechnic performer? Well, and it's then he can do three direct damage again with that for like four mana. So that doesn't seem like a good idea. I can bounce my inside source, by the way. That might be good. Because then I get to well, <laughs> I get to have another investigate token. Uh, if I do this, I can do that and investigate. So I'll do that. I should probably have waited till the end of his turn, but I could get I could get another land drop if I want. Okay, no attacks. And, uh, you know, the issue here maybe is I should probably tr trade off with his three two if he attacks. No, he just has a spell for that. Okay die with loads of clue tokens, I think. Uh, see, I could have bounced that, but I'm going to take out a dog.
Artifacts and creatures entering the battlefield don't cause abilities to trigger. That's such a load of ooey. I hate cards like this. <sighs> Anti-fun, basically. <laughs> right. Okay, we've got an inside source, so we can make a 2-2 detective. That's quite a good idea, I think. Oh no, sorry, I immediately read that card out, said what it da did, and um, forgot what it did immediately. Which is a classic. Now, I'm going to make this into face down card. Right, that's damage, isn't it? Three damage to the face down card. Okay, sure. Just have a removal for every single thing I have. Why not? Uh, block the dog and take six. Oh god, Windley dead. Um, escape tunnel. So, right, you've got two, three, three sources have to deal damage. That's solved. That is solved. Okay. Um, right. Uh, we have an escape tunnel. I'm going to use it. Not that option. So you just went sort of removal, removal. Uh, last couple of turns. Uh, so to survive this turn, we just play the investigators and bounce the... Oh, except we can't bounce the flyer because, again, f I forgot that the flyer just wins the game and stops all my cards doing anything, which is so fun. Such a fun concept. Really makes me love playing Magic. So does that mean that what I have to do is draw a card and hope it somehow stops his flyer and his guy on the ground? That's probably what I have to do. Right, let me just think about this a second. Okay, I'm gonna d no. Okay, no, I just I just lose because I ran out of time. Love that as well. Okay, I'm gonna draw a card. Let's see if we got something. Well, there's my case of the Gateway Express, except I don't have any creatures because they were all killed. Okay, let's draw another one. Love drawing all these useless cards. What can this do? Um, can exile a card from his graveyard? I'm going to just keep drawing cards. I got the magnifying glass. Very dead. Well, you kind of think, what if what would ha have happened if I'd played both my hot shot investigators and just bounced his uh, five five creature repeatedly? Might have gone differently. Of course, if <laughs> I didn't know he had the rare white card that would stop all enter the battlefield effects. There you go. Um, didn't know it existed. In this set, anyway. You kind of hope that certain types of card are forgotten and never reprinted, but um, they've, they, they have not learned their lesson. We have two lands. We can get an island with that. And we can 
play him. We've got our two really expensive cards. Uh, we've got our really good card. Uh, play this on turn three, it'll be one damage. It's not very good. But it might kill something. And going first is not good in this situation. Um, I think this is a mulligan because we've got basically we've got five cards with it that hot shots are not going to happen with a, a two land hand, especially. Okay, this is better. So, um, this is ramp. This is this gives you a flyer and card advantage. This guy's just an expensive creature. Uh, I think... Well, he can also be a 2-2 creature, I suppose. So... Um, I want to try and intrude on the mind and see how we do with that. Warm Familiar. Play on turn 2. Not particularly... Uh, yeah, we'll play it as a disguise card. Yeah, okay, I think I'm getting rid of the laundry because I want to play... Uh, I want to play this this Mythic Rare, which seems like it mu must be good. We're not going to play a 1-1, one, one, I think. There's much point. But we will play Projector Inspector. Okay, cool. Actually, dunk the Gadgeteer in the graveyard and bring it back as a surprise witness. Always just discard forum familiar. I think, and I think, I think uh, it's not not bl mind blowingly uh, powerful at all. This thing gains flying, doesn't it? Yeah, that is just annoying. That thing. Uh, I think I need to play this as a land. Do that. We can play a magnifying glass. I can call a surprise witness. Draw a card. Excellent. And drop the familiar. Uh, yeah, this guy can attack as well. Uh, I did that the wrong way around. <laughs> I spot the deliberate mistake. I should have... Ah, yeah. I... I I went for an ef a mana efficient turn, but I would have had a card advantage turn if I, if I, um, yeah, went for the flyer first. Wow! So he, uh, yeah, he traded off with that, and he just killed that with makeshift binding. Okay, that's fine. We have intrude on the mind, which is going to be interesting, um, and it costs five. I think I want to do that at the end of his turn. down card, okay. Here we go, intrude on the mind, just see how this works. Loves Gardener, okay, you're gonna get a basic land, nice, right. Divide cards into piles. Okay, they are face up piles, they're not face down. Um, I think I'd like a creature. Uh, so that gives me basically two creatures, that's really good. Um, that's the three cards. So let's see what he goes for. I get the 
two cards. Those three go away, but I get a 3-3 three, three flyer, which is nice. Um, I have Aurelius Vindicator, which can... Yeah, it comes... That wants to come in disguised. Um, okay, I'm just going to sacrifice this. Get our planes. We have a grand total of five mana. What's the best thing to do with five mana? I think it's a uh, cold case cracker would be the best thing. Attack for three in the air. So, looks like we can attack for six in the air. Let's just do that. Okay. Removal. Nice exile target attacking creature. Very powerful removal. I loot, don't even get the uh, investigate token, which is uh, makes me a little bit sad. Um. Okay, Jaded Analyst, actually, I think that wants to come out first. And then I'll have an Inside Source, or possibly Aurelia. Yeah, it's suspicious if I don't play the Inside Source, so let's play that. Okay, 2-2 two, two attacking, and another 2-2. Two, two. Something is up. So, okay, let's let's see what his face down card is. I think jaded analyst could trade. In fact, let's trade like that and like that. Let's see what the bad news is. It is a vengeful creeper. Oh no! And it can destroy my flyer. I see. Very good. Well, he got me there. Okay, uh, I've got six mana. This thing has to be an out. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can play this land because we want to play a couple of things that cost three. So he's done very good, well there to um, blow up all of all of my flyers. So that was this was going to be a two-three flyer because it was brought back f with the thing that gives it flying, and then he had not on my watch. And then the vengeful creeper flipping could kill the flying ornithopter. So he has had all the removal. Play another one of these. And we'll play this as a disguised creature. Let's see if you can guess that it's actually something absolutely outrageously broken. So I can, when I can flip it, I can afford to exile two things. Okay, I will let that uh, through, I think. I think I can take five of my creatures. Season Consultant. Yeah, good blocker, and then a 3-2 flyer. Okay. Oh, a land is good, so that means I can XL three things. Um, make sure binding the flyer and the creeper, I guess. So let's do that. That seems good. Let's just read this card again, make sure we're getting it right. Spend seven mana and yeah, exile stuff. And they get bounced back to the hand, so he gets to replay his removal. That's the only problem with that. One, two, three. Oh, 
Oh, it's only creature cards. By the way. Didn't read it properly. It's not permanence. Does he have another removal? Yes, he has another removal. Of course he has another removal. Bounce back to the hand, so at least I get some advantage from that. Alright. Nice. I actually do three damage to that and kill it. Get through with four damage. Uh, I have a choice. I can investigate with this. Um or play my thoroughfare. It's kind of interesting. Let's let's investigate with that. I think that's the better move. Oh, I can now tap the clue. That's a good point. Forgot about that little detail. And things are pumped up now. That's nice. He's getting back Vengeful Creeper. Vengeful Creeper can just kill this, right? Or is it only when it's turned face up? So it's uh, 8 mana to turn it face up, basically, which is quite a lot. Let's um, activate that, get our card. We're only getting through with 4 damage. Um, but let's do it. Another not on my watch is just wall to wall removal in this green white deck. Okay, and we'll pop investigate. Pop the investigate and draw and see what we get. Oh, the lumbering laundry. It's not big enough to be the 5 the 5, five unfortunately. Make your move is good though. He's, oh, he's made another 5-5, five, five, right. Um, five, 5 White Wolf with Trample. Target. And I have to block. Ah, oh, that's, that's not nice. So, I suggest I have to kill this wolf. Tulsimir has... Some uh, life link as well, which is not very nice. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead, make my move, and kill the wolf. I can play lumbering laundry face up. I think. Is there an advantage? Yeah, no. Just play it face up. And it is 5-5, five, five, of course, so that's the can trade, which is good. Right. He has another 3 2 flyer. Right. Nah. That's just, yeah, obscene. Okay. Okay, 5 5. Do I risk my 5 5? Do I think he's got a combat trick for one green? What would it be? Would it? I think it might give him plus two, plus two. So I think I'm going to double block this, and uh, just see. We're going to at least learn one of the combat tricks that exists. So 
chest. Okay. Island, let's pop that. Okay, oh nice, something that's decently sized and we'll play a small creature. Hotshot Investigators can bounce this and we can shoot the flyer out of the sky with it. I've just realised. That would be a good move, I think. Unless we want to kill Tulsimir. Again, gotta say they do cause me anxiety. These face down cards. Uh, Tulsimir is attacking. He's a three-two, so he doesn't. Think, uh, yeah, we just try and trade off with a two-three. See if he's got some kind of combat trick. Um, how about trading off with a two-one? That seems reasonable. He just wants the three life points until he's a bit safer. And that's understandable. Okay, right. My plan was investigators bouncing in case of the Gateway Express, right? And replaying it, killing the flyer. So it'll be two damage. Damn it! <laughs> it's again. It's bouncing the creature. It's not. Why do I always think it's a non-land permanent? Um, okay. Well, it, it's going to be worth some life points, but he's going to get to exile my stuff again. Um, or we can draw a card by bouncing that and replaying it. Now let's get three life points on balance. Tap or untap something, okay. So that's a 3-2 Vigilance. That's not good. It tapped my Magnifying Glass. Um, and I would have had enough mana to investigate. So that, I'm not happy about that. <laughs> but never mind. Um, so I'm still going to get hit for th uh, 3 this turn. Oh, that's a Vengeful Creeper again. He's going to kill the Magnifying Glass, I, I would guess. I think I should have known that he had that, and I just forgot. Oh no, no, I, I traded off for the other one, so it's just he had a second one. So now these guys can't trade off with a 5-5. Five five. Okay. Well, I'm learning as I go. That's eight damage. Okay, we are definitely drawing cards. Drawing two cards a turn just hasn't been good enough against my opponent's top decks. Um, let's see. We can attack for four here and sort of chump block and put him on the defensive. Rather than trying to trade off, I think I'm happy to uh, chump block with the Gravestone Strider. Let's 
see if he's got even more removal. I wouldn't put it past him. Bustle, that's not good. No, that's really not good. Okay, so we can stop... Um, yeah, we have to stop six damage. Cause that's that's going to be nine damage, so we've got a double block. And that's six going through. And we've got to kill like three things now. <laughs> uh, he has to chump block. So we've got to stop two things with one card, I think. And not very much mana. So play a long shot. Well, card draw, let's. Uh, I'll get him. Draw three. Oh yeah, it's uh, you don't even get card draw. I mean, it's it's clue tokens. I'm gonna draw so many cards and and just still lose. So is it four cards left in my deck? To seventeen. Wow. Seriously. What the hell? <laughs> uh, I drew 13 more cards, and um, this is the board situation. Did I have lots of cards milled off the top? Um, some Something doesn't quite add up, unless he has maybe more cards. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm just going to attack. There is no point uh, playing on, obviously, but I just prefer to play on, to be honest. Uh, where did I... Now, where did I mess up in that game? Um... Remember, I missed a card draw near the end. Uh, basically, he just had removal for all my flying creatures. I had about four flying creatures in a row, and he got removal after removal after removal. Um, including for the fourth one, I think, was Aurelia. Third or fourth one. So just one of those hard to fathom games. Had to look at it again. Seemed to drew, drew 13 more cards apparently. Not sure that's right, but uh, okay. So we, this uh, this is not a good, really a very good mana fixing land. Branch of Vitugazi. You can't really call that white mana. And we've got all white cards. Um, do have Aurelia. This seems very, very risky. Um, yeah, Mulligan that. Yeah, keep, have to keep that. We'll just drop the expensive card draw spell. We actually, yeah, we had that in the um, last game. That helped us draw. That's that's right. It dumps um, two. We dumped three cards in the graveyard from that. So that wasn't, yeah, it wasn't all card draw, to be fair. So he's got a, ah, oh, Thraben, this is the Thraben Inspector, isn't it? I've heard so much about. Okay. It's mysterious he didn't play something on turn two. They usually do. He uses clue 
taken this way. Face down card, I can trade with my jaded analyst. Um, this only can attack when I draw two cards. It's a trigger off making it detective. Let's chuck a detective in the way and uh, be gobsmacked when it transforms into a 3-3 three, three or something. Oh, okay, now he's going to do a combat trick to kill me. 2-2, two, two. that's fair enough. Do I want a magnifying glass this turn? I think I, no, I'm going to go for another inside source. I'm going to try and keep defending. sure I want to kill that. Whenever another creature with power to all this sends the battlefield under you control each one this one left the game on there. Okay, with all your little small creatures, death touch and lifelink for seven mana. Yeah, that that needs to go. So we can magnifying glass and curse thingy. Look at that, it wants to tap both of my planes. What a genius auto-tapper it is. Let me think about this again. So, yeah, it's kind of not anticipating the fact that I'm going to have an extra mana, so I think, oh, it doesn't matter if I tap all my planes. Okay. Let's try this. Maybe I have miscalculated somehow. I think it works. Okay, case of the Gateway Express. We should be doing four damage, right? Let's see if he's got a black one mana instant to kill something. Okay, well we can escape the tunnel as well. Um, I think I'll go ahead and attack with a detective. Gets through, nice. So, attack with three things, and that flips at the end the, at the end step. So I could attack with both, but I'd lose both my inside sources, that's the trouble. Oh, something's going to die. Uh, so which creature is he getting rid of? That gets sacrificed to kill my 2-2. Two -two. I think I'll accept that. definitely something I don't want to bounce, even if I might want to. Uh, the hot shot investigators can definitely bounce, case of the Gateway Express. No, they can't. Read the card again. It only bounces creatures. Yeah, okay, so I can bounce my own inside source, which is not bad. And it's another, it's a 4-4 four -four body on the board. An investigate token, so. And of course, we can tap an investigate token with that. That's a good trick. No attacks, right. I 
Okay, what do we want to risk here? I'm going to just chuck a um, Jaded Analyst in the way. Don't want to risk the 4-4. Four, four. Dog Walker, okay. And he gets back these things with Macabre. Construction. That's the dog walker, isn't it? Which I should I should know that. It doesn't it doesn't tell you. You lose that information. So basically I can go in with the investigators and probably trade with the eliminator. No, I think I want to try and attack with three things to flip this. That would be good. Um, um, let's see. Yeah, it's, it w really wants me to tap my magnifying glass. I'm not going to allow that. Uh, I might get something good and have to discard the source. I think that's okay, though. Let's just see what we get. We don't need a planes. Play the source. Record, and then immediately discard it. No, I'm gonna. I am definitely gonna live to regret that. Don't do that. Um, and then no attacks. Yeah, that one's. That thing's a pain. to death. Okay, uh, are there three creatures I can attack with? I think I just lose a lot of creatures if I attack with three, unfortunately. So we can we can call a surprise witness. Um, to bring something back that dies. Well, you can definitely attack, um, and these will help me flip stuff, but they'll die. He'll die to that. Yeah, these guys are expendable, so we can do that. Okay, we can bring this back. This, this could be a 1-1 one, one flyer. It's giving me a 2-1 on the ground. Oh, I'll tell you what, no, the... Okay, it's not... It's a surprise witness. Shouldn't that be an instant speed thing, right? No. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll do that sorcery speed and bring back the Jaded Analyst, because he can actually block the 4-2 flyer. And trade with it now because I should have flipped that. I should flip it end of turn. Let's take action, draw a card, discard that. That is flipped, and we have a 4 2 flyer. Nice. And what's the horrible thing this does? Power 2 creatures get death touch and lifelink. Yeah, that's horrible. Everything has death touch and lifelink, which it really should say on the card. That's really how it usually works, but you've just got to look at this and remember that. Ah, no, that's... No, he has to actually activate that. So, what are we going to do here? 
I'm gonna go for his two face down cards um, like that except the fact those are gonna die even though I'm getting nice draw and discard type stuff it's another dog walker thing okay I get double double drained It was Ali Assailant as well, okay. Okay, that thing is going to be incredibly annoying. Um, can't attack with this flyer until I draw a card, which is annoying. Uh, I may, may as well go aggressive and attack with the investigators. Like that. Silence from the shadows. Okay, he's going to use instant speed removal to kill that. Fair enough. Or just trade off, actually. Ha. Right. Um, apply that. That's another flyer. And end the turn. Oh, okay. What is this? Yeah, why not have a mythic like rare, I suppose. Uh, I get drained again for two life whenever a, cre whenever a creature dies. That's, that's great. Love to see it. And it's bigger than 6-5 flyer. Uh, bigger than any flyer I've got. Okay, I could have this uh, as a disguised creature on the ground. Um, yeah, okay, let's... Another body on the ground, I think that's pretty reasonable. Yeah, he had macabre reconstruction to bring back this drinker I thought I was doing pretty well uh, and these trade off with any of my creatures because they're going to get death touch and lifelink um, we can slow things down we don't need an inside source we can trade for one of them um, I think I trade with another one with face down card. And then it's at least we die a bit slower. Oh my god. Yeah, I forgot it's an eight point drain life if I do that. A casual eight point drain life. Uh, damned if you do, damned if you don't, basically, in this game. Okay, uh, ooh, um, alright. Make your move is pretty good. Um, makeshift binding's pretty good. So, sacrifice a creature to kill that. Obviously, we, we want to do that. Uh, we want to draw a land as well, so... Both of the, these things work. Okay, let's do that. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we get a flyer as well. Uh, make your move on that thing. Yep. And we have to lose something, so we'll lose Faded Analyst. And um, we're going to die because we have to sacrifice something. Did he just trigger his own thing? Of course he did. Yes. So it was impossible to win. Wonderful. It's not really an oops situation, is it? It's just, oh, yeah, I have a ridiculous card. I, I automatically win. Uh, we got out of the one win. I wanted one win, and that's what I got. So I think the deck was all right. I got to use my really powerful card once. And it, my opponent had removal instantly. And it wasn't... It didn't kill my opponent when uh, he killed the card, so <laughs> unlike in that case. But it's quite nice, you exile the cards and then, yeah, okay, he might have instant removal, but then the cards are going back to your hand, not, not straight back into play, so it's quite a big tempo advantage with um, Aurelia's Vindicator here. Uh, we've played Intrude on the Mine a couple of times, it's quite nice. Card draw, and you get a flyer as well, so it could, you know, um, if you draw less cards, you get a bigger flyer, basically. It's quite interesting, really. And the hot sh we tried the Hotshot Investigators. We learned that it does only bounce creatures. I was uh, kept hoping some for some reason it could bounce my um, Case of the Gateway Express, but uh, no, no, it only bounces creatures. That, yeah, I'll tell you what, it's Forum Familiar that can actually bounce a target permanent I control. So that, I never actually played this, I think, the cat, but, but it could have been, it could have bounced my removal spell. Quite a nice combination there. Drew quite a few cards with efficient, efficient integration, or rather made lots of clue tokens. I think we made two, 10 clue tokens and still lost the game. Uh, it's because you gotta you got to have the mana to draw all of them, and whilst you're spending mana doing that, you're not developing your board, so that, that's where you lose. But yeah, quite like this deck. This was, uh, I was quite pleased with these cards, but they just... Uh, were uh, not quite good enough this time. So I'm going to get I think, 400 gems back. So slow going. I think I'm going to burn through all the gems very quickly this time. Uh, anyway, that's the video. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.